What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, Rob and Melanie are continuing our playthrough of Tainted Grail, The Fall of Avalon. Uh, we are moving on to Chapter 7. If you haven't watched our previous episodes in the series, go back, check those out. They're in a playlist at Rob's Gaming Table on YouTube. Uh, if you don't want to miss our next episodes, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified when the next one goes up. There's no schedule to this. We kind of do it as we can and find time. And we're probably going to play these in short two-hour bursts instead of three, four, or five-hour bursts. Uh, to try to fit a whole chapter in episode, we're going to just play for like two-ish hours most likely and try to stop at more of a natural time. So we'll be, we'll be breaking these up into more episodes as we go through the playthrough, more more smaller chunks. Um, so you might not see a full chapter in each episode. So we'll just keep numbering them as episodes and keep going. And thank you to our Patreon backers for supporting the channel and those who donated. We got Cohen Jans, new Patreon. Uh, thanks for backing the channel. We appreciate Thanks for following along. I know you're watching our Tainted Grail series. We appreciate that. Uh, and you had a question. You had a question, which I will answer right here. We'll reply to you in the comments too, hopefully. Um, but we, uh, the dice we're using uh, are just 12-sided dice. I, I don't know the size of them or anything. We bought these like five or six years ago at Gen Con just to play with Lord of the Rings LCG. So they actually have like Elvish writing on them. I, I bought them to be thematic. I think we got them from like the Chessex booth, probably. They had all fancy different type of dice and they just look cool. So we grabbed them. And I just happened to grab red and green because those match colors needed in the Lord of the Rings LCG for us for traveling and damage. Um, so we just use the different colors just to signify we see the reds on the board and we know the men here is kind of going out. So even you guys know they're kind of getting low even though you might not be able to see the number on the camera. But it's just easier to see the dice. So they're just 12-sided dice. You could probably get normal size. I'm assuming they're just normal size, whatever that is. Or even smaller, you could probably get to fit in the men here a little better. But yeah, that's just what we're using, Cohen. Uh, it, just to let you know. But uh, yeah, uh, we should reply to you. We just had to check what the dice were. I forgot if they were 10 or 12. Uh, but we'll reply to your comments shortly. But thanks for leaving the comments. Thanks for leaving questions. If you guys have any questions or any rules, goofs, or anything, like thanks for pointing out that uh, I should have had an extra magic from the last episode because I forgot to count my spirituality card uh, as an extra skill point in spirituality. So it, it, some, one of the entries in the book gave me a magic per spirituality point. I thought I only had two, but I really have three because I added a sedatism skill card to the side of my board. Um, we had a few comments on that. Yeah, yeah thank you. Everyone's <laughs> thank like, you. bing, bing, bing. Like, I posted the video an hour later. You guys are all pointing it out. And I was like, damn it. I was like, no, I forgot a magic. Oh, we keep we keep screwing ourselves. But you guys are helping us out. So that's another good thing when we post smaller bits. We don't have to wait as long to edit. It, it t Less time to edit to get the episode out to you guys. And then that leaves us some time before we get to our next playthrough. So, yes, if you guys watch the video when it's posted or in the next couple days after it's posted, leave those comments, point things out, help us. Even if we're doing something wrong, it helps us and helps people watching these videos in the future learn from our mistakes. Because these, I'm assuming people are going to get Tainted Grail in Wave 2, shipping, people are going to buy it in the future down the road. There'll be future Kickstarters where people will go back and get the game. And hopefully these videos will sit on YouTube for many, many years and people will come back to play this game and they'll learn from our mistakes. So thank you. You guys are helping with that. Helping everyone play correctly. And I appreciate that. All right. Down to the table. Are you going to add that magic? That uh, I did missing? already. Oh, did. I okay. added the magic. I did uh, while we were setting up. Uh, added that. I also got out some of the stuff for the next chapter to kind of be a little more quicker going here. Uh, let's read where we're at, uh, what was happening at the end there. So we were in Weird Edge, mm -hmm. uh, both of us. We talked to uh, Oren, and he basically told us, like, no to a thing for you. Um, but uh, we ended the chapter, so he says, look, if I'm going to tell you anything, I must know you can hold your own there without making things worse for everyone in Avalon. Prove yourself, then... I might share my knowledge with you. So we have more things to do before he'll let us in. But we got to remember where this is. We'll probably have to come back here is my hunch. But who knows? Like maybe we choose different options and it doesn't bring us back this way. Um, so congratulations. You completed your current chapter. Discard all event cards, which I did, uh, including active quests. Then either save your game or draw a chapter 7 setup card and follow its instructions to, the beginning, uh, to begin the next chapter. And we got a big hint here, which we didn't read last time. Um... And I'll probably have to read again after we see our next quest. But it says, hint, if you're missing some of the statuses required to obtain Oren's approval and you don't know how to find them, remember that Lancelot and Camelot at 190, location 190, can always point you in the direction of every knight of the round table. So, yeah, I don't know why we need to know where knights of the round table are. but And uh, the Serene Visage, location 132, Offers a way to relive events from the past. Hmm. So I don't know what that what that means. Like it did tell us stuff that happened in the past, like some of the story stuff. So maybe like if we need to know where somebody is or what has happened, yeah, where to find them. We can get more cred with him. 
Um, but yeah, that's it. Exploration ends. So uh, there were things we remember when we went to this guy uh, at the end of the last episode. Um, starting at Weird Edge, when we were talking to him, there was a, if you have chapter seven option, which we're now in seven. So there might be a good reason to talk to Orin once more while we're here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, there was also other options that we didn't pick that was like um, asking about the expedition and stuff. So um, yeah, I'll just uh, stop that there. So let's do, let's do the setup here. So um, prepare the event deck. So I found chapter seven only has two parts here. Uh, one and two. Put them in a stack. Follow the instructions on the back of this card. Uh, I did this already. I set up uh, encounter decks for this chapter on one or two players. We're using two and three. I just shuffled them up uh, before starting here this morning. So um, they are ready to go. And then uh, a Guardian. So this is just doesn't say player count, so we're not going to mess this up. <laughs> uh, guardian, place the Underbrush Worm, which I grabbed out of the deck before I shuffled when I read this. I was trying to be quicker. Um, so we grabbed this Underbrush Worm, which we've seen this guy before. Yep. This is the guy that came out when Mel had the pig. We had, You know, there's two of them in that green deck because yeah. they came out together uh, when she had the choice to look at two encounters and kind of choose one. So that was kind of funny. Um, so we put it in the lowest number of real location, which I'm going to say is Kunat 101. Uh, yep. It's back. It's back in the game, guys. So, use... yeah, we're going to use our little... Uh, let's throw him, I guess, just down here for now. Yeah, because we'll yeah, our... this is not going... Oh, yeah. This we'll do is... our whole little blue cube on him, and we'll use just a blue token to move him around on the board. Thanks to your guys' tip for doing that to keep things a little clean and easy moving, which is nice. Uh, all right. And then you are now ready to start Chapter 7, The Fall of Avalon. Discard this card. Reveal the top card of the event deck. So we'll get rid of that setup card. Top card of the event deck. Uh, it is called None Shall Pass, and it's a quest. All right, place this card on the active quest pile. Orin's rejection is disappointing. So I wonder, and you guys might know, don't leave it in the comments, don't spoil it for me, but <laughs> I, I, this stuff like this makes me want to play again because would it always bring us to Chapter 7 where we'd, we would we have failed every single time no matter what choices we chose? Because remember, like, he asked three questions and two different choices we had each time. Yes. So those could have led us to all different Book of Secrets. So oh. is there a chance we could have answered the right thing and we would have got his approval and it would have skipped chapter seven or even skipped this card? Sometimes it'll lead you to chapter seven and say, if this happened, discard the top card, don't use it, and go to the next card. So is the next card his acceptance? I'm just curious. I, I, I don't want to know, but I, in sometime in the future, things like these, I'm just I'm just saying a side note here, things like these that make me go, man, I wanna I wanna play again. Mm-hmm. Or like I would love to rewind and just like let's ask him those questions a different way. But then, like, maybe those questions, it, you can go down a rabbit hole because I start thinking, if we answer a different go to Book of Secrets, it might say in the Book of Secrets, you need this status to get his approval still. So, like, we could say we're Heroes of Avalon, but if we don't have the Heroes of Avalon status also, like, we can't just lie to him. Yeah. Who knows? It might just say, like, sorry, you don't get it anyway. Jump to the other Book of Secrets where we still go the same path. So right, it's like, it all could bring you to the same place. Yeah, so I, I'm curious. I, like, I, I want to, like... My curiosity makes me want to start going through this book and like go through all his optional answers. And, and it's, this has happened before. I'm just bringing this up as like a fun side note. It's like, man, I want to know, like, would it have brought us here? Because reading this right now, Orin's rejection is disappointing. Like, is everybody who gets a seven rejected by him no matter what they did? Yeah, like, it's, and that's kind of sucky. Early? That's kind of sucky if every single one of his questions adds to rejection. That's kind of like they're all, they're like not really choices, but who knows? Maybe some of them did bad things to us or whatever, but. Just a side note, just a ramble. Don't you don't have to answer me in the questions. It's just me thinking out loud. But yeah, that's just like another thing I like about this game. It's got it's got me thinking, and I like it. All right, disappointing. His rejection is disappointing, but understandable. Human ventures into Tuathane uh, have already done more harm than good. Why would he think yours will be any different? To help him change his mind, you need to do something good for the realm. So we got to do something good. Finally, we've been we've been bad, I guess, just not good enough for him. So we got to do something good to help the round realm prove ourselves. Hopefully, come back to him, and he goes, "All right, all right, you guys, you guys can come in the club. You guys can come to <laughs> Tuathane and party. You've got you got creds. Let's go. I'll let you pass the bouncer. You're in. All right. Quest: Gain one of the following. So here's what we need, guys. Gain part eight of the restoring order status. Do we have part eight of the restoring order status? Uh, I, no. I have a feeling it's going to be no to all this stuff. We have not. Because <laughs> uh, that would be an awesome episode, uh, quest seven. It's like, oh, we have it. We're done. All right, let's, <laughs> let's move on. Uh, okay, so then gain the hand of the people's secret card is the other option. So we just need to do one of the following. Gain the hand of the people's secret card by causing the downfall of the round table. So the round table is bad. Yeah. And the round table has to do with our buddy. Um, 
it said um, Camelot 190. So we have to go to the Camelot and we'll find from a Lancelot or a Camelot or whatever where all the round table guys are, yeah, it said. I remember something about that. Uh, and then find another way into Tuathane. Oh my god, that's on every single one. So yeah, you so can bypass the whole game if you just figure out how to get in there. <laughs> yeah, we got into two things. Maybe we skip chapter seven. This is the kind of stuff that's like blowing my mind right now. I, I like I I want to replay this and like I will in the future. I think maybe like early twenty twenty, if we're done this by that point, maybe I'll do like a solo playthrough, and just literally try to pick anything I can remember is the opposite of what we've done. <laughs> Even if it leads to like my downfall really quick, I think it just would be fun to tackle this game and try to poke around and find other ways. But it's cool, like, I can picture someone making, like, a wiki of this in the future, like, of all the uh, options and choices. Like, oh the community gosh. comes together and just puts together a wiki of and, and like, dissects the game, uh, which would be kind of cool. All right, success. As soon as you gain part 8 of the Restoring Order status or Secret Card 19, which I'm assuming is Hand of the People, go to verse 490 in the Book of Secrets. Okay. And then it says, put Special Event B on the top of the event deck. You already have it. Oh, uh, no, no I did not grab oh. that. I did not know that was coming, but uh, we've already been using it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, B on the top, and then place eight random events. on. The, so this is a longer one. This quest is going to be, this chapter is going to be long, and I can tell just because it's saying place eight minus one per player. So we're placing six random events on the top. So that's obviously saying, like, you guys have extra time before we start punishing you by hitting the looping uh, special B event over and over again. But where does that, oh, it goes on top of that, yeah. does it say? Yeah, you put the, that there. This, this happens every chapter, and I'm, I'm learning this is kind of like your time mechanic. So there was a punishment. Like, before it was something is watching, and this guy comes. I don't know what special card that was. But now we have B, and if this is the same one as last time, maybe it's not, I don't remember. But the one we had last episode was gave us a terror every yes, time we hit it. that was B. And then put more events back on the top. Yeah. So this is probably the same one then. But I'm saying, how do you get to uh, this one? It will tell you to jump to there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it, it might go to 490 in the Book of Secrets and then say, discard all this, uh, you know, go to chapter oh, two. Okay. Maybe maybe chapter seven, part two is like I said, which we've seen happen before, oh. is if you come here through a different Book of Secrets, like I was, that's why I'm saying my, my rabbit hole thing is if we answer different to that guy and had a different status or something or just answer different, would he have said, go to Book of Secrets 999 and in 999 it says, Get set up for chapter seven, but discard the top card, event card when you do it or something, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And then we don't do this first part because we already have done what we need or we got into two thing or whatever. Yeah. Like obviously we skipped this stuff. We already found a way into two thing, which we could have done in the last chapter. True. Because that was one of the quests. So I'm very curious. Like that's what I mean. Like how would that have, would quest seven be, or would chapter seven be skipped or would we just be in chapter seven doing part two only? That's the that's things we've idea. seen already have happened. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. that could be just, we might never need to care about part two. So... Yeah, that's happening another time. Because these right. quests seem like a long problem. If we our hints are telling us to go to like Camelot or go to Serene Visage, which is all the way up here oh, still. And the Minier's Minier's got like uh, one day left oh. on it, so two before it goes away. And we're all we're basically at the end of the day right now. We have one so energy. it's gonna it's gonna go down to zero and then be gone the next turn. We can go try to relight it. Uh, it is the one if you can check the cost at one eleven underwall. One eleven is two energy, one food, two magic. Per and, player. and it's a gathered food place, so as long as we have the magic and the energy, we're we're okay. Yeah, it's not a bad bad deal to go there, and we're only one, two, three moves away to get there. And if you know the start of the next day, we get like good weather or something, would be nice. So. Yeah. Uh, I did shuffle these up after cleaning up last session, but uh, we'll just do a quick little toss on the random encounters, and we'll do a cut. So special event B on chapter seven, part two. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I said. Yep. Uh, eight minus one where per player. Is that card right here? Yeah, I just want to make sure. Place eight minus one, so six. Okay. Special random events. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Very important. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully a lot of good weather, a lot of beautiful weather, no bad stuff is what I'm hoping for, and we're rolling. But eventually, like some quests or some chapters, we seem to just get hit with night raid and beasts oh and God. threats and bad weather and this and that. Thank, thank you for, for our ponchos making that a little better. I know, right? I don't want to lose that ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think we're good. So this is our active quest. So let me just throw these up here, maybe. That's our pile. There we go. Uh, random events on the top of the deck. And let's just continue on. We're good to go. Okay. okay. Well, I have 
st I'm still at three energy I could spend. I don't want to go exhausted. So I technically could spend one. So I could go there and see what that um, option was when we had chapter seven. Yeah. So, if yeah, if you have an energy at Weird Edge right now, we're here right now together. Yeah. You could go just on your own. I remember it was like crossing the bridge and it was something... Like, we went together, and it was, like, caution, because I was joking about caution was working for crossing bridges or sliding down mountains or all that kind of stuff we've seen before. Uh, it's always when you're, like, your, your balance is going to be thrown off. Um, so you have the most practicality anyway. So if I went with you, I would go to exhaust, and I don't kind of want to do that. So, uh, and you have, this, you have the same caution as me, but mm -hmm. you have more practicality. So it's kind of like you go alone. So if he gives you a reward, I don't get it. I'm not in your party. But... I think it's just I don't really want to waste the energy. So you can go there, check what that uh, chapter seven thing was. Yeah, and the other thing I was going to ask you is if you may be willing to share some food with uh, me. Oh yes, so yeah, I can we're in the same today. location here. You, you can have one food. <laughs> Thank you. You can borrow one. Okay, so I will. I then... expect a repayment. No, I'm just <laughs> I will then with spend... two food interests. <laughs> I will spend an energy to do that option. Okay, uh, so we're exploring one forty one. Yeah. All right. So I can see what weird edge. Yes. So if we have the winds of weirdness status, go to verse three. We don't. We do not. Otherwise, choose one. You can traverse the long bridge leading into the Kronach, or go to ver uh, which goes to verse four, or leave exploration ends. I'll traverse the bridge. Yeah, obviously. All right. So the bridge is thin, and the weirdness presses at it from all sides. The walk won't be easy. One mistake, and you are lost. Roll a die and add one for each point of caution and practicality, and then check the results below. Okay. So you have three. Oh, that's the wrong die. So you're basically looking for a six plus. Uh, is what we had before. So you just need a three or higher. You didn't get it. So one, you two, got. Three. I got four. So the. <laughs> oh my god. So you get well, one point for each of your caution, and then check the the result. So one to five. Uh, so you got a four. So you yeah. slip and sl and sink your hand into the weirdness. It grabs and pulls. Go to verse seven. The weirdness engulfs you. The chronog floats away, or maybe it is you who's drowning. Your insides twist painfully, and your mind boils. After a long torment, you find yourself crawling back to the edge of weirdness. Each party member, <laughs> I'm not with you, sucker, <laughs> loses two health and gains two terror. Two Exploration health. Ends. One, two, and gains two terror. Yeah. One, two. Which you can recover from oh, that, but that does weaken annoying. you. Yeah, so if we like wanted to try it again, it's like, ugh. So maybe let's not. Yeah, because I'd have to go exhausted to do that. I don't know. Because we know, I'm like, smart. it's not a, a quest to talk to him yet. I just didn't know we, ha we have to get stuff. Maybe maybe we don't even talk to him anyway because it's saying if you don't have the stuff to make him happy. Yeah. I just uh, thought maybe he would give us a hint or something of what uh, direction true. to go to. But we can keep trying. I don't know if but, it's worth uh, it. Well, we'll see tomorrow what I feel like and what. Yeah, you're going to stop there? Yes. End the day? Yes. All right, end the day. Eating food. Done. Heal one. Lose a tear. I'm good. And then energy up to full. Okay. All that same for me. Perfect. Okay. Um, Let's see. And then if we want to spend experience. Well, then I'm I just want to look at, at what is upside down seven. here. Seven. Yeah. What's this? Two, four, six, eight. Oh. And I also, sorry, I have my relic, my shining talisman. Whenever you lose a terror, lose one more point. Of oh, yeah. So yeah. I, so easy, easy peasy. Yeah, you yes. get rid of terror more, more easily. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Uh, I just got to remember everything that I have here. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay. Okay. Uh, now if we want to spend um, experience, I'm sitting at seven, but the, the magic, like I could get an aggression skill slash card off the side here, um, mm -hmm. but I think I want to get some either practicality or caution. The problem with um, practicality on my bottom uh, split attribute pairs here, the join pairs or whatever they're called, um, I have one, two, three, four, so it would be my fifth point. So it's 10 experience to go higher on this at all. So I'm debating going caution, because caution seems good for even things like this in the story, or it's good for just practicality, uh, or yeah. sorry, uh, diplomacy is what I'm trying to say. And let me check. I have double spirituality. I'm just checking my diplomacy deck here to see if um, having double mm -hmm. in caution is a good thing. Uh, I only have one card really that I haven't really added cards in. So you know what I should check? I should check my pool. 
what is because I haven't really seen. I've never ever done that. I would just do it as total you, blind. You're, you're able to look through, I'm pretty sure, because it's random when you get it. Like, you shuffle it, you draw three, so it's like, you never know. Yeah, I just um, never. I just want to see. So, uh, Maggot, double empathy, which I've totally been ignoring empathy, but he's got a card in there. It's double empathy, but double spirituality, too. Three times, wow. I'm just quickly kind of just glancing through, looking at the stuff. So, double empathy, wow, I've been ignoring empathy. Double caution, double empathy. Double caution, but I may never see some of these cards. Double caution, so far double caution, double empathy though. I think it's pretty even, double caution. Um, double empathy, double caution. Mm, if I'm ever gonna do diplomacy cards, uh, yeah, double caution or double empathy <laughs> is the way to go because it seems like I could see a lot of those. But there's a lot of them had double spirituality on the same cards, so. I'm already good with that, but that just means I could be connecting two things instead of one key more often. Um, you know what's funny? I don't value the diplomacy deck as much as the... Yeah, because we don't hit diplomacies as much. They're only okay. mainly in settlements that are angry at us. And, but uh, even, even the encounters, I mean, we're only on twos and threes. They're not terrible. Maybe you gain a few terror or whatever, yeah. but you're not losing five or six health. Yeah, that's true. Like, so, usually, there is a yeah, chance you there, can. I mean, only from what we've seen, and we have mm -hmm. not seen... Yeah. Even half of them, but yeah. So, but I don't uh, value it as much. Yeah, I'm just debating if that's my next point to go with, or I go try to get a courage skill. So that would be one, two, three, fourth. So it'd be eight. Yep. Points. So I'm still one away from that anyway. So I'm just talking out loud here at the start of the chapter. Um, but yeah, I'll wait for hopefully get one more experience, and then so, I'll, I'll I'll get something for eight. So I think I might actually go with the double courage. Yeah. So for me, because it's it would be my third point, it would only be six experience. Uh, yeah. So I think I will spend that yep. to do that. So paying my six. You could also go double caution instead. Can help you get across bridges better. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna maybe okay. work on some of that stuff next. Sure. How many times am I going across a bridge? Hey man, we gotta we gotta <laughs> talk to this guy again. Obviously, he's hinting that we need to impress him and get into yeah. a thing. Unless we find another way in, then we don't care about this guy, I guess. But. Yeah, uh, it's like uh, seems like you gotta explore and wander around, go through the right mm -hmm. paths. Who knows? Uh, devastation here is something interesting. I feel like I want to explore that, but I, I feel like it's a bad place. I almost just want to go there to do this ability to get some two wealth. Two energy, lose two health to gain three wealth. Yeah, you know, we're both at no wealth. Yeah, and, but then it's like we're delaying. That's wasting. Could waste a whole day to get there. Get there, spend the energy and do that, and then you're looking at like, okay, well, that was my day. I'm done. Yeah. True. Where we do get wealth from doing um, gray and blue encounters sometimes, I think. I'm pretty sure that's True. where. I don't know. Okay. Anyways. So I've spent my experience. You, did you spend any no, experience? No, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. I'm just talking. I just always like to evaluate at the start of kind of an episode or a chapter and decide whether yeah. what I'm saving for, kind of evaluate it because it could matter in the next encounter or next day or whatever. Yeah, we uh, didn't get anything from that chapter ending, did we? I, I, I think, yeah, no. That's weird. So maybe we sucked. We didn't do it. That's a good enough job. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, so or we didn't answer his questions correctly. Yeah, maybe. Uh, so next, uh, dream time. Nope, no, no dreaming. Sweet. Uh, then we r remove expired men here is none, and now we'll tick our days down. So this one is just back to this zero. This one is going to four. And this one's also going to four. All right, uh, so start of the day, I'm going to actually, sorry, I should have done this already. Uh, I could lose a tear, and then I can either gain an energy, a health, or a magic. I will go for energy, I think, mm. in this situation. Bonus. Because I, I, losing no tear, I already full health, um, but I could get magic, but I think right now I'm just going to take the energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you have food, you have some magic. Yeah. You're pretty. Okay. Pretty good. So... Like, is Camelot where we're going? And I know Camelot, the best way probably from here, because we know this from the map before, and we've already done this journey, Kunat's here, and then up here was, like, at the Whitening, I think, is that village? Oh, something like that. Or that yeah. one is. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Is our next men here? And then, like, the Titan Steps. And see, it's all around, like, this, this lake, and this lake is right here. So I think Camelot was on, like, this row or just, like, right about here. 
compared to us. So okay. we can go that way, tighten steps through that, that burrow or whatever was in front of it and go that way. But then we got to go by our buddy here, which is fine. We run into him and then we, we run the other way. Well, he's going to move in a minute. So yeah. So he will come down this way. So we could do a whole trickery run up that way, but then he'll just yeah. jump in front of us again. Depends on if we have enough energy. Well, let's see what the day brings when we reveal our next encounter and stuff. We can play a game where we, if you look at where he is at 102, if we're here or here, mm -hmm. he comes down this way because he goes the lowest number location way. Mm -hmm. And then if we stop like here or stay in this area, he comes one more this way. Oh, then we run. And then we go that way and then he'll start, or like even if we just move over one or something, the shortest way, yeah, then he'll start, he'll start coming back this way. So then we have like a chance maybe to keep two days ahead of him. Mm -hmm. We could chill... Yeah, he come if we stay here and he's here, then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. They're the same, so he'll go through the lower number because this is 106, this is 103. So we can do that weird edge stuff or far shire stuff or explore here or explore this horns of the south. Something two energy, gain one food once per day. That's not the worst thing. Oh, well. and we would see 108. Mm. which I think we've seen before. I don't know what 108 is all about. It's kind of the opposite way we need to go, but who knows what ability is on that that maybe now is, is important or something we want to do or an item we want to get or something. Who knows? I know. But that delays time. So then he will come down here, come down here, and then we just kind of like race past him and go. But like how yeah, far but, can you get in a day? Well, because he can't go up. I know. That's so what I mean. He'll be stuck. So we just have to waste time till he's like down here. We have to get him magically like here. And then whiz by so that he continues this way to come to us. And then we just start going that way. Because then he'll just start coming back the lowest numbered yeah. way. And then we'll be ahead. Okay, that yeah. sounds good. So whatever we do, we kind of like, let's waste some time in this area. I think we have the days, the four days on the men here. Is, well, five days really. So mm -hmm. I am curious about this too. Yeah, I, like even I just want to explore there and see what's going on. There's a dream there. I don't think we've dreamed there yet. No. That's something. I don't even think we've, we've gone there. Yeah. So it's just something that's there that's like maybe something cool is there. Maybe something bad is there. Who knows? But like. No. But I like that ability there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. True. Yeah. We both can just do it to gain some wealth. To kind of put some in our pocket ready to go forward. Yeah. Uh, could help us buy items and stuff. Um, okay. Okay. So reveal the next event card. Uh, yes. Please be. Dude, we don't really need it to be a beautiful weather, but. It's not. It's a full moon. Okay, what happens on a full moon? Uh, whenever you would draw a random purple encounter, draw two and pick one with the highest value. So it makes it purple encounters worse. Whenever you would draw a random green or gray encounter, draw purple instead. So it makes things worse. And then the cost of activating men here is lowered by one magic. That's an interesting wow, little thing. Wow, interesting. But we don't have we a don't men have here. To light. Yeah, this is kind of sucky that it came now because I don't see us lighting any men here unless we want to do Kunat. But Kunat's a pricey one, and I don't think we. Mm -mm. Oh, we do need it. Why? Oh, to run that way. Well, we haven't seen this yet. So we still have 113 that can appear. Do you know what one, is 113 of a men here? Can you check your little cost chart? All right, let's see. Um, I do not have one listed. I don't think we've even yeah, explored that location is. at all. No, I don't have anything for that. Oh, oh 113 is the lake. Right? Wouldn't it make sense? Because the lake's oh, right yes, there. Oh, yes, yes. So there's likely no men here. Yeah, then. there's no men here there. So that's, uh, that's so trouble. Then... It also recommends to go to Serene Visage, and the hint was either go to Camelot or Serene Visage, which... Serene Visage. Give me one second, and we I We can, can go the far way back up and around, probably. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that, though. I don't know if I... So what's Kunat's uh, 101? Two energy, two wealth, oh. two health, two magic. Very so, yeah. expensive. Well, that's fine. We have the magic. We have. We might have the energy, uh, but we need the wealth. So I think we do go there and get wealth so we can light Kunat. Yeah. Uh, 132, Serene Visage, is two energy, one food, one magic. If so we can... cheap. But remember, remember, I have to go through that one. Remember how many other men here we we saw that direction? We had the one that you push back and forth. Yep. Then we got to go back down. And I don't even know if it's easy to go back that way. I think that might be bad. But that is, it's giving us two options. Mm -hmm. So we could do Serene Visage and then chuck around to Camelot if we need to. But maybe Serene Visage gives us the answer to just come back to this guy. I doubt that. I kind of want to go to Camelot. Okay. It just seems like that's... So we need the wealth first. To then. try to get the hand of the people and cause the downfall of the round table. Okay. Or, yeah. or that might give us gain part eight of the Restoring the Order. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like it hinted go to Camelot or go to Serene Visage. 
or both. I don't know, but we can always get back around to the stream visage. We know the other way. I just think right now it's kind of there, so we probably should kind of go now. But to do that, we would probably have to light this man here too. Which was what one? And then we have that guy coming up one to one. us. So. Uh, the one that's going out is uh, two energy, one food, two magic. So it's not expensive. Okay. So here's what I'm saying. Okay, so this doesn't hamper movement at all. No. But remember, it's reduced by magic. If we do light them in here today... It just really cancels out this one. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming it's just total cost is reduced by one, not the cost. And then, so if it's one per player, it oh, yeah. reduces that one. And then it's times two, zero times two, zero. Yeah, I assume it's the Yeah, total I think it's cost. just a total. Um, and we'd have to pay five. For here? No, for that. So there. what I'm thinking is go here. We try to get here. Uh, this guy hasn't moved yet. No, he will now. He'll come down. So we go up here. Do you want to just do that now and then we'll know where they are and yeah, where sure. this guy is? And... Okay, so we reduce the dials. We did the next event card. Let's move guardians. So roll the guardian die for this guy. He goes north. Yep, we're just going to switch spots. And then this guy will come down. Okay. Uh, and then we pick items and secret cards. So you have all your cards face up, then you face up, and your one's face down. Is this a relic? Is that why that's face down? Yep. Yep. I'm good. Those are all face down, not because of the combat, but because no, this is a weapon, and this is uh, armor, and they have armor. Yep. So maybe you put these all in like a little pile off to the side, so it's not like confusing. So when you do flip stuff during combat, you know like what needs to be flipped back up. Sure. I don't know. Just the thing. Yeah. So at least you can see the secret cards on the back too. So when we're asked, do you have secret card this? We know. Yeah. Okay. Just to be more Okay. Up. So, but now we know where everything is and it's easier to... Relic, shield, weapon, armor. No duplicates. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, so here's the thing. So if we're trying to get here, we're going to meet. Right. Okay. But we know we need wealth for here. Mm-hmm. Do we see wealth here? Do we see wealth here? Do we see wealth here? No. But we could explore to find wealth, but we know there's wealth right here. So I say we just go up here, do that thing. He would then, he to get to us would be the same distance anyway, but 103 versus 102, he would actually go back up this way. Then we kind of stay up here. Maybe we do this again the next day or something. We'll have a blue encounter to deal with too, so it might hurt us a little bit or something. Well, so we could explore. We could do it together. We could explore. Let's just focus on exploring maybe some of these locations. Pick some to just kind of focus on, try to, try to get through. Yeah, maybe we'll get stuff. We might get wealth. We might get yeah. food. Well, we know we're going to get wealth there probably. Yes. But we delay. What I'm saying is delay a day. Yep. So he moves this way. Then we come down this way and start to go to Kunat. And then maybe even where we are, if we're like a tide distance, oh, yeah, he would still go this way back. So the more we lead him over this way, we want him at least here before we swing by to give us some time. But mm -hmm. I think we're going to run into this We guy. could stop here because then it's closer for him to go this way. Yeah, then true. for him to go this way. Ah, true. Yeah. So we, we can manipulate him to be kind of like behind us a bit, but we'll see. And then it, it also slows us down a bit and lets us explore, which we last chapter, I feel like we just kind of ran. We ran, yeah. And we didn't explore. We didn't find cool things. I'm sure we went by some items that would make our life better and some resources we could have and had. And really some statuses. I keep saying, do you have this status? Do you have this status? Well, we're just running through locations. We're not yeah, getting anything. true, true. That's okay. <laughs> so I, I said have some fun and explore. Take it a little slow this chapter, maybe. But yep. uh, this guy's kind of still putting the pressure on. So maybe it's a chapter we keep running. I don't know. Yep, but I still feel like we have to delay to kind of let him get by us and we run around him. I just need to move this for one sec. I, okay. I was but just remember, we can always just let him come into us. If it makes more sense to waste days, waste energy, uh, let him come into us, and then he knocks us. We can go to the other side of him. Oh, yeah, It yeah. costs two energy to do all this. We might take some terror and stuff. But at least we come out the other side, and then we boot. Yeah, yeah. So, worst case. All right. But we can't just sit there and, like, hide over here and see our menus expire while no. we're, like, waiting for this guy and dance around us. So. no. no. Yeah, it, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. But, uh, okay. So, start of day. Uh, let's just go with our day, during the day. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so... Do you want to just move together and together so that we can fight this blue encounter together? I can use yeah. my pig if needed. Yep. So, we'll just bend one, two. one, two. So, we just did two to move here. And as a party. Yep. Uh, and we're in Farshire. So, we blue encounter. Blue encounter. So it's a level two last resort. Uh, it has an option of stage one or stage one. 
it can go down to when we fail, but because I'm with you uh, and have, where is it? Oh, yes. I have the ornamental armor. I can make the track go up to green already. So at least we're a little ahead of the so game. Only three we need. We only need to move it up three. And both options, they're going to move it down. One of them we could lose energy, and one of them it just tears up the last card. Then the top option, though, is a little tough for me because I don't have empathy, so I'll be connecting less empathy keys. But I might have other ways to move it up. But we're not going to take any, we're not going to lose any energy, which is good. And the reward, which we both would get, is an experience is what I want so bad to be at eight, and then I can get uh, another skill card. Mm -hmm. um, and then, or into rep, which is great. And we both get it, right? Because it's a reward? Yes. Yeah, if it was loot, we only get one yeah. of them and we split. So that's good. So the second option is good because of we both have caution, but the problem is every time it goes to the enemy's turn, we lose an energy, and no. I, I don't want to do that. So I think we'll just pick the top one, which might make it tougher because I'll be moving up less. But as we've seen, if you go first, sometimes you can just move it up enough to win or mm -hmm. whatever. So mm -hmm. okay. top option. So it says, uh, a group of desperate people tries to force you to rekindle their men here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So we can talk them out or try to escape. So we're going to talk them out just because we don't want to lose energy. And if we fail, we lose a rep, three damage, and lose three energies. We're not going to fail. We're, we will, yeah, we can't let that I don't happen. think the pig is worth on that one, right? You're good with not yeah. using the pig? Yeah, no, no, I'll okay. leave it. Yeah, yeah, this seems fine. It's not like uh, level three, and it's not like three stages yeah. and all this bad stuff happening. Um, okay, so automatically, with yours, we move it up to the first green, right? With your card? Uh, yes. Okay. So we, we just only need to move need it up to, three I'm just going to put it kind of beside, if that's okay, so I can see, and you can yeah, see. Yeah, whatever, sure. Like that. Okay. So hard to see that. Yep. That's all good. It's all good. Okay. All right. One, two, three. And so our bonus no traits, no traits. is empathy. Is our bonus. So I got staunch defense. Where on the enemy's turn, I ignore all moving down, which is kind of neat. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got bonus keys, which. To connect, yeah, I have a caution. To spirituality. Oh. No, that's a starter. I could start with this, which doesn't actually do anything. Oh, it'll. Every time oh. it moves it down, it goes up. Instead. So it would just go up one if you can put it up two. Uh, well, I can start. If I start, I can move it up one just by placing my first card. Okay. Uh, I don't draw. Uh, no variable bonus to connect. Then I have Staunch Defense, which I can connect on either one of these. And it just says, uh, ignores and moves down. And then it rips this up after. I don't know. Okay, so I would do one? It would move it up one and then he doesn't move it down. Okay. I mean, we're not taking any damage. So we can let this go around or yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but he would rip up both because after the response, so he rips up and then this rips up. That's fine. Ignore all this and then after, oh, after the response, this goes away. But he would make it go away anyway. Okay. Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. So I'm playing the first one. Goes up one. Boom. Two left. Uh, I play it. If it's not green, it goes up one. And if that tears up, I uh, which it could, I gain a tear. Then I connect this bonus. Uh, that's a problem. Don't take out the card. Uh, and connect off the bonus. Nothing else. No movement up. But then uh, it goes to his response. He tries to move it down, which I ignore. And then he rips up the last card. Discards it. Destroys it. Destroys it. Uh, okay. And then I am good. I will put a time token on my card that I've gone. On my, in my dashboard. All right. What are you doing? Well, I could move just, it up too. That's all I gotta do. <laughs> I can't, but I could do this and then leave that. So for every down, it will go up in one instead. So it would yep. go up one. And, and then, then the same thing, that card disappears. Yeah. So let's do that. So his response moves it up one and then he ripped, destroys that card. Mm -hmm. So to your discard pile. Now we're both end of the turn. We clear away our time things. We discard down a three and then we draw one. Ooh. Oh, I can. Can you finish it? Yeah. Unless you want to. Oh, you have one too, but can toss. You? you got to move it up twice? Oh, it only needs to go up one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah because he just, he moved, just it moved it up. Yeah. Yeah, so it's up to Yeah, you. yeah, same. That's fine. Go ahead. Just okay, it. so then I'll play that. Finish him. And that. All right, done. So each gain an experience. 
that's what and, I'm yeah, thank you. Sorry. And two reputation. So I'm at 12 reputation, eight experience. That's good. Okay. This goes on the bottom of the deck. That was easy. Okay. I'm at nine reputation. Yeah, I'm at 12. Yeah, you're okay. reputable. Uh, one more energy to go to the west, which would leave us. Oh, it leaves you. You could go exhausted. Well, I could do it next turn at the start of my next turn. Like, I don't have to do it this round. Yeah, you could explore and whatever. Okay, well, either way, I want to go to the west yeah, once to I, devastation. Yeah, I am as well, so I might as well just. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to do that action on it uh, just by myself. Mm -hmm. Spend two. I lose two health. And then I gain three wealth. Nice. So I spent two energy, two health to gain three wealth. Seems pretty pricey way to get wealth, but it seems like the way we can get it today for sure. Uh, and we're on that location. You still have an energy you can yeah, spend. Yeah, I mean, I'd like explore. to explore. Let's uh, see what we 139. got. 139. Let's see how bad this place is. 139. Okay. Okay. Uh, devastation. The place remained out of the protective range of a men here for a very long time. The results are plain to see. The land is rippled and furrowed like an old man's brow. The trees go, grow upside down from the solidified waves of rock and dirt. A stream boils one, on one end and freezes on the other. You, can, you can't help but wonder whether it's how all of Avalon looked when it was completely enveloped in the primal weirdness some 600 years ago. So here's your three options. Okay. Descend into the mind. Go to verse 2. Search the dwellings, go to verse 1, or leave, exploration ends. Okay, well, I'm not going to leave, so I can... You can descend into the mind or search the dwellings. Hmm. Descend into the mind or just search the... I think I will search the dwellings. Okay, so we're going to verse 1. Most buildings around the mine are... Uh, around the mine complex... Mine complex, sorry. The mine complex are old and half collapsed. One large cabin seems almost new and relatively untouched. Ooh, who's living here? <laughs> if you have part seven of the dreams and prophecy status. Oh, that doesn't sound familiar. Dreams and prophecy. No, we only have one. Uh, there's nothing more you can learn here. Exploration ends. Otherwise, oh, so that's good. probably we'll get it now. Uh, otherwise, uh, read on. You step inside the seemingly empty building and begin to search. Your heart jumps when you catch a man in miner's garb out of the corner of your eye. He's growing straight out of the wall, upper torso, and head sticking out from the intricate latticework of veins, nerves, and guts. Mm -hmm. Seeing you, he slowly raises his head. Instead of eyes, two sets of white, bloodshot flowers look right at you. Then, the man says, Poor creature, if you could only taste the infinite dreamscapes, if you could hear time gently washing over the bones of history, if you could see the color of abandonment or the texture of yearning. So your options are, end his misery, in his place, you want someone to do it. Uh, in his place, you'd want someone to do it. Go to verse 4. So kill him if you want. Okay. Next option is leave him be. Go to the start of this location. Make another choice. Or learn from him. Pay two energy requires one empathy. Listening to someone who spent decades or even centuries submerged in the weirdness seems just as intriguing as dangerous. You'd go to verse 6. You could do the two energy and you have one empathy. I can't do that. I don't have any empathy. I know, right? Uh, and you can learn some stuff, which is probably the part seven of the dreams and prophecies that you won't be able to do this again. So uh, leaving him be means you just say, screw this option, and then you go make another so it's choice. So kill him or learn from him are the two choices I'm contemplating right now. Um, oh, I'd be exhausted. I only need two for that one. In the next day. Uh, I will learn from him. I will spend the two energy. I feel like this might be a one. Okay, so you pay two energy and yeah. one spirituality. Listen to listening to someone who spent decades, even centuries, submerged in the weirdness seems just as intriguing as dangerous. We're going to verse six. All right, getting him to hear your questions and respond is a difficult task on its own. Understanding the answers is another matter entirely. Yet, as minutes turn to hours, you slowly understand secrets and mysteries never meant for humans. Language of the stars, hidden rules of fate, the connection between the souls of living creatures and the eggs of time, a time-eating serpent. You stop asking just before you reach the precipice of madness. Gain part four of the burning mystery status oh. and part seven of the dreams and prophecies. Okay, dreams and prophecies part seven and part four of burning mystery. 
uh, part four of Burning Mystery, part seven of the Dreams and Prophecies. Perfect. So yes, you can't talk to him anymore because that's what stopped us was the part seven of the Dreams and Prophecies. So you won't be able to go end his misery now in the future. Okay. Uh, each party member, mm -hmm. not in your party, with fewer than four terror, moves their terror marker to four. Ah! Go, move it. Do it. Cheapers. Then gain four magic for each point of terror you've gained. I gained four. Four magic. Oh my so, gosh, that is see, beautiful. You went from being super pissed to now being happy. So mm -hmm. just let me finish next time. <laughs> Exploration <laughs> ends. <laughs> Sorry, I just take it one I bit know, at a time. I know, I'm just kidding. Wow. Right. Exploration ends. So that's what happened there. <laughs> okay, and I can't go back to that. Not that option. Not that option. But it, even if you ended his misery or um, left him, it would have took you back to the start location where you picked the other option where you would go down into the mine. Okay. Which, yeah. That's cool. I would love to go down into your mind. We can't trade magic, right? I could just pay magic for you. Uh, Yeah, I don't think you can trade that. You can trade food and wealth, though. Mm, any interest in trading one more food? Uh, Yeah, Just sure. one more, and then I'll figure it out after that. I'll yeah. pay some magic for you in the future, okay? Yeah, that's true. We need to pay attention to food then. Yeah, well, I want to get over here eventually, maybe, to do this. Oh, you have to go that way, yeah. But I don't know if I'll be able to do that until... There's also this right here. Oh, that's actually closer. Which will still stay lit because this one's still lit. So we can still go gather the food. But remember today, drawing green counters is not a good thing. No, to I don't have any more energy to do it today. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to end the day? Yes. Uh, so food, done. Actually, I'm already at zero. Maybe I just lose the health and keep the food. Yeah, do whatever. Yeah, I think okay. I'm going to do that. Uh, I go up a health, down a terror, whatever, and then I go all the way up. Oh, but I want to lose a terror. Actually, sorry. One second. I might change my mind back. Consume a food to restore one and eh, one health and lose a terror. If you don't have enough food, drop your energy to zero. If it was already at zero, lose a health instead. Restore to full. No, I'm lying. I'm going to I'm gonna eat the food. Yeah, because you're tearing your health or something yeah. back. Yeah, one, two, three, four. And then I will lose two because yep. I lose one, and then I lose one more point because of my shiny talisman. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so experience time, uh, spending, which I'm going to do. I'm going to spend my eight. Um, oh, yes. Bang, bang. Uh, so I'm thinking of slapping on a courage option and doing the cost of my character actions reduced by one to gain magic for only one energy. Oh, that's, that's what awesome. I left on the top from last episode we were looking at. Or if I'm exhausted, I may spend uh, energy. Uh, if you're exhausted, I may spend health instead of energy to, to keep yeah, so doing do things stuff, but that is pricey yeah health i know that, that uh... could get you in a bad situation yeah. fast or i could only become exhausted when um my energy reaches zero instead of one mm. which is like getting an extra energy and then it always fills up that's pretty good but magic can get me food or i mean i can for energy get a magic which i also can use for food which is pretty good so either tireless or inspiration is what I'm leaning towards. I think I'll go with inspiration. So I have another stat now in courage. Or another skill, yeah, another skill point in courage. Right, because it'd be one, two, three, that's six, eight for this one. Boom. All right, cost of my meditation ability is only now one energy. Nice. So that's good, because magic can be used for many years, can be used for me in combat, can be used for food now. So I think I'm building a nice little engine here, which feels good. All right. Nothing else? Nope. All right, dream time. Uh, let's find oh, out if yes. I get a nightmare. Flipping a, whoops, flipping a dial. So nightmare for me, dream, dream for, for me. you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is 139. All right, so the dream is... A procession unlike any you've witnessed descends into underground corridors. Tall, inhuman figures covered in white fabric from head to toe proceed through the darkness, surrounded by floating lights. In the bowels of the island, they set to work. With alien tools and strange magic, they separate a block of solid weird stone and move it to the surface. There, a figure lays on the slab. Its body slowly melds into the weird stone while the stone slowly takes shape of a body. Soon, they are one, a solidified essence, neither dead nor living. Around the statue, the passage between the realms of life and death is now permanently ajar. They place the weird stone figure in the cold wastelands outside of Tuathane's walls. You wake up, shaking off this strange dream. 
You know Arthur raised the men here to protect his people from weirdness. Everybody knows that. This place must be playing tricks on your mind. No, I think Arthur's a liar. That's what I think is happening. So that's interesting. So it's basically ta- saying uh, men here are, maybe it's men here are made out of weird stone. Like they're, they're mining weird stone, which I think that's why this dream's here is saying down in the mines, there might be something good. Oh, I should have went that way. I, I want to do it with my energy today. I'm oh. going to try it. But um, it's also going down into a mine and we're close to the wall. This could be another way into Tuathane. This could be it. This could be something we were like, could be another way to end this quest. Um, but that's our dream. So there's hints there. I'm pretty sure there's hints to stuff. Um, a nightmare is you wake up in the middle of the night, something is wrong, and the ground bends upwards, obscuring the night sky. You run in the opposite direction, fleeing the anomaly. After a while, you look up and see your camp and yourself far above. Suddenly, you can't move. You watch as your double equally paralyzed slowly. Your double equally paralyzed slowly catches fire and burns, eyes wide with pain and terror. You wake exhausted but relieved. Then, searing pain alerts you that your clothes are on fire. Oh, no. Each character who has this nightmare gains a terror and loses an energy. Oh no. That's annoying. Thank God I have the true grail. Uh, all right. And that's that. That's interesting. So one thing that said, though, in my dream was that Tuathane was on the edge of the wall. Yeah, which I think this is Tuathane on the other side of the wall. That's why I think well, it keeps... You have to figure out how to get why, in there. Yes, that's why I think the screen visage talking about how its legs stretch right under her in the wall or something was talking about her. I assume it's that. And then Weird Edge, she's right here living near the wall. This is against the wall. Farshire is kind of against the wall. There's there's some way to get into two things. Timber wall. Yeah, yeah. Timber wall is a village right uh, settlement up here right against the wall. Oh, and then something else is a wall. Yeah. Under wall. Yeah, it's somewhere in there. Yeah, that's maybe a way to go under the wall. There's like a hole here. It looks like there's a, a little mound hole thing right there. Maybe that goes down go under the wall. that way instead. There's lots of things. There is there's is another way into Tuathane. I think they're tricking us. That There's many options. You just have to find the right way, the right mix. Probably have the right stat uh, trait or item card or something. And yeah. you can do it. But we probably have to talk to a lot of people and... You like go to the villages, ask people to lead you, give you hints, and we kind of have to put the hints together to do it. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, all right, so start of day, I'm going to use the true grail to lose a terror and gain a energy, a health or a magic. I'll just gain an energy, go back to my six. <laughs> um, and then we will remove the expired men here. I think that only does. Yep, those two, right? so those two are gone. Timber wall. And Serene Visage, which are some places we can go right now, which would have been nice. But we can always go light the Underwall men here again if we wanted to do it that way. Which would be an interesting way to go that way since he's so far down here. That would be something to do. But I don't know if any of that gets us to our quest. And then if we would just have to come back this way. Or we push our way up and around again. Around the lake, which could get expensive. Maybe. I don't know. And that, that could be the harder direction to go. Yeah, it's tough. I kind of want to go to Underwall for the food because I don't have any more and you only yep. have one. And then maybe explore that a little bit more and just see. The only thing is remember him. So yeah, but if he's... you go up to Underwall, he's just going to go back this way again. Yeah. Which is fine because we want to go to Kunat, but we could stay in this area and then he continues this way. Or one and of this us. Way, and then... Yeah, we could play maybe the game. Maybe I go yeah. up. Yep. We just not, and you not, not take our sight off this guy. Uh, okay. Okay. So sorry. And then reduce the time. And in here dials. <coughs> yep. So three. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, find the three. Okay. Okay. So they're red. Uh, okay. Uh, reveal the next encounter card. Good weather. Event card, event card. Event card, sorry. Good weather. First travel today costs one energy less. Experienced journeyman know how to make the most of decent weather while it lasts. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. And then move the guardians. Uh, yeah, roll that guardian die. We'll see where our Grunderworm goes. He east. goes east. So he wants to go east, but then he's going to go to the highest connected location, which is 106. Okay. And then this guy, we said it's the same, so we're going to choose this way. Right? Uh, well, no, he would go back to 102. Oh. That's the problem with what we did, kind of. But we were talking about having him come this way. If we're doing Kunat. Oh, yeah. We want him to come up this way, and we go down this way. If we were going up north here, we want him to go this way, so we would have should have stayed down here, and like I said, go to Horns of the South. So there's two options what I was discussing. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. But, all right. Uh, so now we're good to start. 
Uh, I want to check the mine. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I can lose some health and gain some terror. would be great. Uh, all right, so 139. Devastation. So I'm going to verse 2 to descend the mine. Verse 2, you enter the shadows. Roll a die. Oh, it probably should have been you because it says <laughs> add your courage or spirituality. Oh, courage. I'm buffed up now. Oh, there you go. Three. I have three. And I will remember this time, guys. Thank you. Yeah, so this is good for you. Actually, yes, it is very good because you don't have... No, I only have either. two. Yeah, I keep thinking you're the best at whenever I see practicality, which you are, but now my courage is so courage. You're yes. courageous. So courageous. All right. Uh, roll your die. Uh, do, do, do. Five. Uh, yeah, that, feels that good. sounds like a good number. All right. Uh, then I add my courage, which is three, and then add plus two if I have the adventurer's kit. You do. So five, ten. seven, eight, nine, ten. So on a one to five, not going to read. On a six, set, not going to read. Seven, not going to read. Eight plus. Yes. I see a book of secrets entry on eight plus. <laughs> nice. All right. The corridors twist ever deeper. And deeper into the ground. Finally, you reach the place where this ancient mining shaft crosses paths with something even older. If you're playing chapter 6 to 7 or chapters 11 to 5, go to verse 3. If you're playing 10, go to Book of Secrets. Oh, boy, that's okay. So we're going to verse 3. Verse 3. The twisting tunnels of the abandoned four dweller structure open before you. You wander for hours, marveling at the sinking complex weird stone lattices stretching between huge stylicities and stal stalagmites, I'm sorry mm -hmm. guys, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure what those are. Uh, each of them is different, though after a while you notice repeating modules, like letters or words. Is this truly a mine, or rather a, a mine, or truly, or rather a library? Each party member gains one magic, uh, just me, mm -hmm. magic. Game part seven of the burning mystery status. So we should, no, we got four last time. Mm, burning mystery. Burning mystery. Okay. Then exploration ends. Oh. So there's lots of other things here on if you roll one to five, go in a different verse, go in a different verse. Oh, they all lead to verse five. So it, it, it can do other stuff here um, and get different die results, which might not be bad, might be bad. I don't know. But what is the burning mystery? I don't know if it's like a waste of time to keep doing that, though. That's the thing. But I kind of want to, but I, might well, just again. but I might just go to the exact same place. You can try again. But it might be just a waste. I don't know. Am I, am I trying to delay time over here? Should I just do this gain more wealth thing? Should I go to Farshire and explore there? Is that probably a better th way to spend some exploration? Did, what did we do at Farshire? Did we explore enough? Is there maybe hints at how to get into the wall? In Farshire, 116, right? Yeah. Um, that may have been before my good... My better note. Yeah, okay. So, so I, I don't think we have anything really written. So I don't know if it's like a waste. I feel like maybe I got the best option there. Because I think I think if you get it lower and they all led to five, I think it probably would just be bad. But it could yeah. be something good. kind of want to know, but it may be okay. But then you have to roll again and you could roll. Yeah, I could just roll the same. Yeah. You already start with three. That sucks. In the adventure kits, you already start with five. Yeah, but I'm sure a higher option is better than a lower option, which I'm ma I'm automatically getting a higher option. Yeah, I agree. But now I'm trying to get seven or less. So I start, you start at five. With five. So you need like a one or two. A one or two. So that's very rare to happen. I'm going to say that's a big waste to try that. That would be just a waste of energy over and over again. Because even me, I start with four. Yeah. So. I mean, it would be me turning an energy into a magic, though, over and over again. That's really all it's doing. Which but you is can not, already do I that. I can already do that. So it's a waste. But it's the chance of exploring more in the story. Yeah. We can go to Farshire for free. Yeah, that's true. We can go back to Underwall, Bloody Glen. I don't know. I kind of want to go up to Underwall, I, but this guy, I, I don't know. As long as we, you can come back down this way. Like, leading him here is not the worst. I can come back down probably next time. Yeah, because he'll only move here. We might have a guardian in our way to deal with. That's fine. He may move. See, he's wide open now. Oh, well, he can't move south. But he can move north, west, east. Stay where he is, discard off the board. But if he tries to move south, where would he go? 
Next uh, highest connected, right? Which is Farshire. So Farshire is the most odds of him going to Farshire. Yeah, but I can run through him. He doesn't. He doesn't actually hurt you if you don't. If you, oh, like opportunities. Free food. Mm -hmm. I know, right? But okay. It might be we need food we though. So I think I'm gonna use my good weather to yeah. move. Do you want to do the same? Yeah. And then what we're well, going you go to... ahead. You no, do. let's do it together because we have to go through the blue encounter first. Oh yeah. So okay. So free together. Yeah. We're doing blue encounter together. Yeah. Okay. So we got a drunken night, which we've had before. <laughs> Uh, so reward, oh, is, reward a is a rep and a food. Rep and a food, yeah. I know, but I, I don't So I don't we're going to go through two rep. stages on this guy. He's level two. Uh, at least it's hard to lose because harder to lose than the last one because you have to go down to three red. We're already going to start up two away from winning. Uh, the first option, he just moves down. See, he could do damage. See, I knew there was knights and guards and stuff in this that can hurt you. Right. Uh, so he's got double everything on the right. I at least have spirituality. So there's a chance... Um, I can connect on that, but the one times is good. Well, to get even if you can put down anything to yep. connect yourself. Yep. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. It's fine. I think he's good. No piglet needed. Uh, one, all right. two, three. So, oh, sweet. I got a one, two, three. I got a one up right on the bottom to start. Oh, and we start with you putting yes. it at yeah, yeah. the first. One up because of my ornamental armor. That's the wrong one. Oh. Okay. Um, so we got to get it up too. I can put it up one. Or I can I put can, it up twice. I can actually I put can it. Do two, okay, yeah. you can do two and I can do right? two. So the next time. Because here is one. Mm -hmm. And then I connect on double spirituality. So it, it moves up twice. Like I can do it on one card. Okay. Right? So that, and you have double yeah, spirituality? Yeah, spiritual Three, oh. I have three spirituality. Okay, I'm good. so one, two. Yep, so that's it. Done, win. Uh, well, that goes on a stage two. Yes, so now so we started again. So put it again back to gray. To the gray. Uh, okay, so that's good. We avoided all the damage. Yeah. But then that's good now because... So I've already gone, so it's now... I don't know if we restart and we both get turns, but I think it's just like I've done my turn. Okay. Okay, so now... So he's obviously not responding because I've reset it, so then you're a go. Have we need to go up three, and he'll move it down one. If you can connect on courage and empathy on the same card, then it goes up twice. That's amazing. I think I can win here. Okay. So let's play that as my first card. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to put the time token because I'm yeah. going to cover it. Then I'm going to connect here with my caution, yeah, on the putting it up two. Okay. Bang bang. One, one two. more. Two. And then I can play this. And yeah, because you have to spend a magic though. Oh, I have to spend a magic. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. To connect it, right? Uh, unless, it's bonus key. You, you actually, have to connect I forgot. The bonus I key. forgot. Unless you can do one, and it doesn't matter. Well, what's he doing to you? Uh, just oh, he's gonna move down. Ah, uh, no, I'll just spend the magic. I forgot about the bonus. Well, hold key. on. If he's just moving down one, like we draw and stuff, I can play. Look, I can play my first yeah. card. It, it, I can play my first card, and it's a times two, like, and and then I just connect, and it's, I yeah, we, I just okay. Don't don't spend the magic. You take it back? I, I put it back, yeah. All right. Uh, so now he goes. Um, so he'll move it down one. Yeah, just bring it down one to the bottom green. Okay, now we lose our time tokens, discard down, draw one, whatever. And then I will just start. And I'll play that as my first card. doesn't matter about any connections or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do connect on the caution. Oh, so it will so go So it up does one. go up one. So to it's one away. One away. And, they... and then I just slap down. Uh, it doesn't really... Oh, yeah, it was this one. Yeah, connect on spirituality double, and then it goes up twice. Okay. But then I toss a dial. So it goes up twice, which is top. So actually, I could not end it. Oops. Um, so we're looking for a grail. It's a skull. It goes down one. <laughs> okay. Whoopsie. I did not think of that. Um. All right, now it's your turn. You just got to move it up one. <laughs> I left you no connections. Yeah, it was a 50-50 chance. I'm sorry. But anyways, That's I okay. Went. This doesn't do anything. But you gain two charges. And you can pay charges to prevent him from tearing up cards, but he never does that, so we're fine. We're fine. All he's ever doing is moving it down one. So as long as we keep pushing it up. Okay, I'll just do more. that and I'll leave the times two for you. So put two charges on that card, please. Mm -hmm. And then um, we're two done. Two charges. So I'm then done. We discard down, draw He'll one. He'll move so it take down. Take that off your card, please. I just put it there because I'm still doing like this. He moves it down one. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Now do that. Draw my card. Go ahead. Now yeah. you can have the times two. 
or the oh yeah and you just move it up and win you'll move it up two times hold on then i play this if it's not green okay yeah yeah so that's safe and then that's it <laughs> Uh, I draw a card though. And then it'll go up two. One, two. So that's the win. Okay. So we each get a rep and a food. Nice. I just want the food. Yeah, I know. I don't care about the rep. It seems this is going to be a long adventure. So I think we need a, it's a chapter. So we need a You're bulk B, of right? Uh, yes. So. Okay. There you go. And then he goes to the bottom of the deck. Yep. I'll shuffle those in a second. So now my plan is to move up, I think. To go for food? Yeah. Uh, I'm down with that. Yeah. I have to go exhausted to do it, but that's fine. All right. Uh, yeah, so you go ahead. Do whatever you want to do. So that costs Move you one energy. One. Okay, and then I will spend two. One, two. You gain, gain two, two food. food. And green encounter. Green encounter. You're by yourself on this one. A it's only a two level. Puffins. So okay. Flock of, flock of Puffins is only an eight. It's level two. Uh, it says their beaks are so colorful that often people often forget their main function is to break bones apart in search of mar marrow. It's a horde ability. What's a horde? Horde is during step three, enemy attack. The active character discards two combat cards from the top of their combat deck. Oh, so he speeds it up. So okay. this is a, you got to do this quick. Uh, so zero to one, he does some damage. Um, do you have anything that's... I just have... Prevent one. Yeah, prevent one, but it Which can't be reduced great. to zero. Oh, okay. So at least it makes the first one say only one damage. Second, one damage. Third one, one damage. So... Eight, though. I think I can do this. And he never runs away. So just get to eight as quick as you can, and then less damage over time. And then if you play less than one card or zero cards, you gain a terror. Okay. I and think the loot is two food. Yeah, I think I'll try. Get him. And at least he starts off with letting you connect stuff, too. So not, not red X's. Yeah. All right. Oh, cubes, cubes, cubes. <laughs> final blow there. Can you slap something down, final blow, and get up to eight already? <laughs> um, that could do two, four. Mm. Yeah, but if it's not the finishing blow, hold the final blow until next turn. And mm -hmm. throw is kind of like a finisher card, too. So... That's a great connection card, but you know, but with those X's, I think what I'll do is just play this and take the one damage right now. Yeah, uh, and then draw. Oh, okay. oh yeah. And I'm gonna do this. The delayed effect. So the poison dagger. Yes. Even so though you're holding throw in hand. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, flip this card and place three. Well, question. Can I see your cards here? What's throw end you on? So it drops down right now. Three, two cubes, well, we three drop... cubes. No, no. Oh, right if, now. It, oh, with this. Yeah. Two, three. You can connect it right now. It says three red cubes. It could be four or five if you flip that over. Right now it could be on five. And then start a next turn as long as you draw something that can connect with final blow. I don't know. Maybe do a throw right now and flip that, and then you're at five at least. He's not reducing any red cubes. Oh, yeah, he would. Sorry, he would. One damage and you go down to four. But you're halfway there. Oh, you're saying do this right now before yeah. you even draw. Because it's three red cubes, and if you flip this, instead of I'm saying do three oh, delayed yeah, red cubes. Saying. So I would do three. It could be a gamble. Oh, that's fine. Oh, but you're only drawing one card, so you're hoping to get something to go between that and final blow. He'd be at four, and this could possibly be the finishing final blow if you draw it right. Yeah, but so I could be wrong. This might be bad to be holding this in hand by funny. itself. One, and then two, three. Yeah, three cubes. And then I will flip over my weapon to add two more. Mm -hmm. So he's at five. Yep. So five to seven. He will do two damage. I prevent one. Yeah, and then two cards are discarded off your combat deck, right? Then I hold on. Then I lose one, and then two cards are discarded. One. Critical two. strike and defend. Okay, so now. Ah, uh, defend would have been a good card. That's okay. me. So discard down to one and draw. Okay. Uh, yeah. So oh, you got a time two go. in the connection. That's okay. all you needed. That's, okay. Yeah. So let's do that. The, the next card doesn't need so to be connected. You draw one card. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Because I have double practicality. You work your way down the left of the card, doing all the stuff. Uh, yeah, and this is a starter card, so you starter don't worry card, about the yeah. connection. Then it says the next card you play it doesn't have to have the bonus key. Well, I'll play this anyway. Doesn't matter, yeah. So that will do three. And you just final blow him. Wouldn't that have been the finish? Oh, it doesn't matter. 
That's it. Four, five, no, six, he's seven. only at oh. seven. You needed to do final Here. blow there. But either way, you can do it now, and it still yeah. does. So you do four more cubes. You definitely overkilled him. Yeah. Uh, so he doesn't get to go. So, gain so I gain two, two more food. food. One, two. Perfect. And then that's over here. Yeah. Yeah, you could just play a final blow before that last card. Ah, sorry. And it would have finished him. Okay, green. Bottom of the deck. That's not a bad guy to face, eh? No. Especially when you have armor to reduce the damage and if you can do it fast enough. Okay, now I can flip that back over. Okay. Are you going to do that action? Oh, you have to. Yeah. yeah have to so I'll spend an energy uh, to go up here. I'll then do two energy to gain two food and draw me a green guy. Ooh, that doesn't look good. That's a bog maiden, 15, level three. She's slow though, but if I lose all my health or gain maximum terror, but I'm, I'm pretty good. I think good. you're good. Uh, oh, she has lots of health though. I would gain secret card 66 and escape from the combat. So she's doing lots of damage along the way. This is the problem. And the reward's only one experience. And two magic. So, yeah. Yeah, but whatever. This is not worth the losing health. I will lose... I'm going to guess I'll lose probably, yeah, six health doing this. Not worth it. Yeah, to get to 15 alone. Uh, so we're going to shuffle up. Oh, this is supposed to be over here. I don't know why I discard piles and throwing that in, but whoopsie. Maybe I should have had that in my deck for the last one. Uh, okay. One, two, three. Good luck. Yep. Oh, there you escape. go. <laughs> Bang. Don't, uh, she only tears up the card to run away, so it's like a super easy run away. Uh, so I just lose energy to run away, unfortunately. I didn't get the nice food menu in front of, that was on the bottom of the green deck. So I am exhausted, unfortunately. I really wish I took that other one now so I wouldn't truly be exhausted. But oh, yeah, yeah. Eh, I have that true grail to kind of help get one energy back. Well, I'm also exhausted, so I will end my day. All right. Want so to eat? Yeah. Are you ending yours? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spend one. Go up. Uh, I go down to terror because of my yep. talisman, and I go one, one two, two, three, four. four. So I have five energy, went up four there. Uh, okay, so then experience to spend, none, dream time, none, no dream at Underwall. Um, start of the day, I'm going to do the whole, I don't need to lose a terror, but I will just gain an energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, anything else? Uh, reduce these down to two, so time is running out. Know. Yep. We might be in trouble. We might need to be lighting one of these men here. If we can't get to Connaught and light that men here quick enough. But okay. it's kind of like three days still, so we got time. Yeah. All right. So then reveal the next event card. Heavy Rainfall, which we ignore thanks yes. to our Adventurer's Kit. Uh, but it would travel would cost an additional energy. That's good. So thankfully it does not. Okay. Guardian time? Yep. North. North. So he's going up here to the Bloodied Glen. Which and this guy is just going this way, right? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, shoot, sorry. Knocking things around. Okay. So let's do our day. What are okay. we doing? I don't know. One, two. Are we going this way to the thing? As long as we get to like here, here, or here, he is going to go this way to get to us. And then we can keep right. going that way. But if we go all the way to Kunat right now, somehow, I, we would, uh, he would just come back around. We still don't have Kunat is one one Yeah, because I didn't get to do that wealth thing. I don't think we have enough wealth. Oh, you didn't? No, I didn't have enough energy. Oh, you are supposed to stay there and just do it. That's what you said you're doing the next day. You shouldn't have left to get the food yet. Didn't have enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. You but still could I'll do it. Do you it still now. can do it. Because you'll keep him. You'll be the closest character. He'll keep coming across. That's fine. We have so another then, day. One, two. Yeah, just one. do it and go exhausted. Get the wealth. That's fine. Okay, so then I'll move and do a blue encounter. Are you moving down too or are you staying there? Because uh, we might as well. We could do it I two. might just do... The food uh, again? Yeah. Okay. And then... How much is it? Two. Ooh, hold on. Two energy... Goes down to four. Yeah, but I might have to escape, which would cost another one. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking I'm going to try to sit, see if I can get till we're in oh, this area. Oh, but I have another day, kind of. Because he's only going to... Oh, oh, no, I don't. I have to have gotten... So, hold on. Two. Could be three. Four. Five. I'm at six. I would go exhausted to just... I just need to get past him. Mm -hmm. And you need to get... Here, but then he would come over one, so you're kind of forced to deal with him. 
we might be forced this time to bump into him here to then just get pushed here. What? But if we stayed up there, he would come this way. Okay. But then we're wasting another day, and then we only have two days to come around. But we might get a nice day where like, we have good weather and we get a free move out of it. So we could do some more food gathering for another day here. Two. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I'm doing that. Three, four. So right now I'm doing one, two, uh, to gain two food. Mm -hmm. And green counter, please. Our split, sp spit slug. Uh, so this is a jerk that could force me to discard items. Are known for belching acid that can eat through steel armor in seconds. He's slow, but he's defensive. So the first card I play does one less red cube, but he's slow, so I get an extra card draw every card draw step and at the beginning. Uh, so on zero, four, eight, if I leave it on that, I have to discard an item. But then the one to three is just one damage. No, I only have, do I have one that does the damage? Yes, prevent the damage. And then if I connect practicality key, I can also prevent another damage. So as long as I get him no higher than like seven and then jump to 11, with a final blow. The opportunity, though, if I don't play a card, is three damage. Or if I try to run away, is three damage. That's terrible. So we're going to try. Let's see what we get. Just trying to get to 11. He's only level two. He starts off with letting me connect stuff. Reward is an experience. Loot is a food, which is okay. But I just hope I don't take too much of a beating here. That's the problem. I'm at full health, so that's okay to take a few damage. I think. You get four cards. Four cards. Is he slow? And I might spend magic to do some connections if needed to make things happen. Oh, and I also have ways of preventing, so that's good. Because he's not unpreventable like some of these other jerks we faced. Okay, so I got defend, attack, gather thoughts, and distraction. So if he deals damage, I lose red cubes instead. Uh, this one, I could lose a uh, cube to draw two cards in the future. This one makes him hit a little harder, but I usually cover it up. And then defend's great to end on because I prevent two damage anyway. So if I get him to three right now... It, one to three would be great. So starter card. I'm only starter card. I'm holding is attack. So if I drop that down, I do a red cube. Okay, red cube, and that's fine to be at one. Oh no, it doesn't do. He blocks with defensive. Blocks with defensive. Uh, and then I throw down. Or if I start instead with gather thoughts. Gather thoughts. I don't want to be at zero because that discards an item. But then after that, no, I can't play attack. It's this one. And then connect there and I do a red cube because it's the second card. I just need to get to one at least. And if they deal any damage, I'll lose red cubes instead. He's dealing no damage because I would connect to practicality, which blocks... Uh, Sorry, first I would block, prevent one with ornamental ardor, can't be, can't be reduced to zero, so that reduces it to one, and then the sequence ends with a practicality connection, so I block the other one, so I don't need to lose red cubes. Yeah, that's the way I'm gonna stop. So one, it goes to him, uh, he tries to do two damage, like we said, I, I block it, back to me, discard down, I draw two more, one, two, I get an ingenious trap and overhead smash. Uh, I can. Oh, nope, that doesn't connect. That connect. connects on that one. Attack, and then this one. Because that's a starter card, anyways. Yeah, I know. It's, It'll I, do one less, but. Yeah. All right. Let's. But let's see. So if I drop down, attack, it does two, but only one because he's defensive. Mm -hmm. So you'd be at two. Which I don't want. Two's fine. So I don't want to be at zero or four or eight. Then I connect this one, which does one, two, three, four. You'd be at six. Six. Uh, that's fine because then he does one damage. I block. Uh, you do an additional though. Yeah, so I block one of them, but mm. the one gets through because I can prevent one, but I'm not connecting practicality on the last card. Uh, but hold on. I'm at double courage, so do I have anything? Nope. No, no connections there. Oh, for each connected practicality, gaining mm. a red. Not many Which I only yet. have one. So that's something to think of. Okay, uh, and I lose one less red cube when he does his thing. So let's It'll do be that. At six. 
So one on the first card because he's defensive. It would have been two, but he blocks one because he's defensive. Then I do one, two because double aggression. I connect on courage on the bonus key. So one, two, and then two red cubes down here times one is two more. So that's six. And then on the enemy's turn, he is looking at six. So he does one damage plus a damage from this card. So I block one with my um, armor, not down to zero. And then I lose one less red cube, and he wants to make me lose two, so I only lose one down to five. Don't you have something whenever you take a damage? Ah, yes. Whenever I lose a damage due to an enemy attack, I gain a red cube. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's forget all these little... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Okay. So he's back up to six. Scar down. Draw two, thanks to his slowness. So we get fine weakness, war of magic. Or war magic. Um... It's nice three times right there, but I don't have double practicality. I can connect magic though. And I have a red cube on the bottom of a couple cards here. So I could play this, it would draw me two cards. Well, I have a bunch of times twos and times threes all on the bottom, times twos and times threes on every card. So I gotta do this right. I probably can get there, maybe. I just need five, but I can't go I don't want to go to nine or ten because he does five damage and I gain, and then, oh, five damage and I gain two red cubes. So he would do a final five attack blow and kill himself. Mm -hmm. But I could possibly block two of that. So taking three damage to let him kill himself, I'd rather just kill him myself. Mm -hmm. so, so which are your starter cards? Any? None. They're all okay. like could be connections. So I got to do this right. So there's a times two down already, and I'm just trying to get to five. So if I can. Do something. And I can draw more cards, too, if I need to. But I want this. I would block that times, too, because it's going to be less. Hold on. Can I connect? I connect with magic on that one. Yeah. So this is going to be my final, like, war magic little play by spending a magic to do three red cubes. Um, can I connect this? So to... you want to play, like. So if I did this, I would draw two cards and kind of see what comes up. And that's my first card, so it doesn't do any red, right? But can you not do the other ones first? Because then you'll have more. Sorry. Because this one, so the problem just is blocking all the things that can't. See. Yeah, sorry. No, no, no. Um, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, because like I, they don't have connections. Like this doesn't have a magic to connect to it after. But if I drew cards, maybe I would get a better line. So I'm gonna do find okay. weakness first. So it doesn't do any red cubes anyway, which he's defensive and blocks up the first card. So it's like whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so I draw two. So I get final blow. And I get reposition, which is great to set up like final blow and stuff. Um, so this would make the enemy hit me harder, but I'm definitely going to try to slap something down on the three. So let me look at my three cards that have red cubes on the bottom now and make sure I can slap one down to get that times three and it leaves a times two and hopefully I can kind of something to it. I think you can only do this one because the magic can uh, only be in the end, right? Because you don't have double practicality. You don't want to block. Yeah, so maybe only this one. But then does that leave me up something I can connect after? Yes, it yeah. does. So War Magic into Ingenious Trap, which is a bunch more red cubes. So that would do... So here, let's slap down this one. And i got to pay a magic to do this one. Yeah. And I have to gain a terror too, I think. Uh, so I spend a magic to connect that key. It does three more red cubes to this guy. So you get nine. You only need to do two. I gain a terror when I play it. Uh, I put a time token on it, which could lead to him gaining red cubes next turn. But I don't want to leave him at nine because he'll do five damage and then he kills himself. Uh, yes. And then I throw down connection on a practicality key, uh, which does two more red cubes. And, dead. and then uh, I gain when I play it, so I have to follow the card, right? Connect yep. on bonus, do the red cubes, because it could be a good or a bad ability. So when I play it, I gain a red cube for each connected practicality, which is one, two, so two more red cubes. Yeah, Genius Trap is awesome. Mm -hmm. So he's loaded, done. That's awesome. And so I get an experience and a food. And what'd you take? One damage on that? Yeah. That's and not and a terror. And it, but that's fine. That's what I get back from eating at the end of the day anyway. So it's not bad to spend that stuff. That goes to the bottom of the deck, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Um, and now I have... So I didn't lose any energy there, which is great. I didn't have to run. So I still have two energy before going exhausted. So I could do the food thing and gather another. And we just delay there so that he moves up. At least... Yeah, because if one of us moves down, we're in trouble. Yeah, but you know what I was thinking? Because we only need to have... 101 is only... Sorry. 
two wealth each. So we need four. You have three already if you're willing to share. I could just move right here. I could um, pay rob rep, the dead. Pay a rep. So energy, a rep, and gain and gain a terror to gain one wealth. Yeah. And you've got to... You have to fight a guardian when you move in there, and you oh, have to get guardian. out before he comes in. The guardian. I forgot about the guardian. He gives you free food. If you can beat him 15, you can do it by yourself, right? Mm-hmm. I'm sure you won't lose energy or health. I'm just joking. Don't do that. But I could run away for nothing. You're just better off to get more food where you're at. And we're just going to stay there? Yeah. The guardian might come to us anyway, but this guy moves up, which is great. You don't want to stop here because then he moves into your space. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of trapped here. So I think it's great to stay where we are. So either explore, which I might do. Okay, no, I'll do the food. Yeah, so you're going to spend One, two. One, two, gain two food. Yep, green encounter time, which you can also see a better green encounter possibly. Yes. Oh, <laughs> another guardian worm. guy. So I'm going to use my piglet. Yeah, time token. Once so this goes on the bottom, uh, at the bottom of the deck. At least you know the other one's not coming up next. Yeah, <laughs> like and last then I time. draw the next one. Oh God. Oh no, it's weird, Bear. He's only eight. Bear. That was guys. That was a... like our. This was the guy we fought like in like the first. First uh, yeah. chapter that was like we were like, oh no, he's gonna wreck us. He's a guardian though, so if I do not beat him, yeah, he's gonna we got another stick one on the board. Us. So let's take a look at him. He is uh, eight. At least he lets you connect on a few things off the start. He doesn't have red X's. Yeah. So after this brown bear found a feeding ground in the weirdness, it didn't take long for him to change. So he's guardian. That's all. He doesn't have any bad traits. Opportunity is just one of unavoidable damage. But on a zero to one, he does three off the hop. So you have to. Um, you have to kind of get him to two as fast as you can, but then it'll just make you lose two. So he's like a little dance here of like, he's going to make the red cubes go down. So even though he's only eight, you have to like really get through the eight as fast as you can, but you don't want to stop like at seven, but he's going to play this dance until you can like do the final four cubes. Yeah. Okay. But loot is two food. So if you can get there without taking too much punishment, that's a, that's a good reward. Okay. First card I'm going to play is intensive planning, which will let me draw an additional card during the draw step. And I will draw a card right now. Beautiful. Hold guard. Then I will play defend. Nice. Connecting on practicality, putting a time token there. I will prevent two damage. Sweet. Okay, I will stop there. He will attempt to do three. I will block the first one with my armor, and then I will prevent the last two yep, with that. Sure. Discard. I don't know if that's the way to choose it, but sure. All that stuff happens at the same time, so yeah, I think you can just choose it. Okay. That's fine. I will discard down. I have two. Yeah. In the draw step, I will draw one additional, so I'll draw two. Okay. One, two, and I will remove this, and I will draw a card. Beautiful. Okay. Loaded. I'll dump two of those cards at least. <laughs> okay, so let's do that, which will do three red cubes. One yeah. for the aggression and two at the bottom. So if you stop okay. there, you're only going to uh, take no damage and no red cube loss. That's a good spot to sit. Well, if, I have. If, 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 just letting uh, you know. Oh, you yeah, should yeah. always evaluate after each card you play. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. But I have another defend, so I could do that again. So, which I will. Uh, gain one for each point received. Next but the defend one. will make you lose red cube. And blocks at times two. Oh, what adds on. That's fine. Stop there. So you understand what you... Oh, but that lets you draw a card. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So... So, okay. So at three, he will do two damage to me and I will prevent both. And then he will lo I will lose a red cube. Yeah. Okay. Then I will discard down to three. I have three. I will draw two. Yeah, One, nice. Your first card there. Two. What is that called? Extensive, Extensive planning. planning. Yeah, it's nice. Arev's card. Nice. Uh, then I will remove this. Yeah. And I will draw another card. one. Okay. Okay. I just want to see because I have the times two. I'll play surprise attack. Surprise attack, which will do one for practicality and two at the bottom, and it will let me draw a card. <laughs> nice. Take that surprise attack. I'll start a card for later. What am I at here? Five. Yeah. So five, he'll do the same thing. He'll make you lose a card and take two damage, or lose a red cube and take two damage. I will then. Might be silly, but I will do this. The next card does not need to connect with a bonus. And I will play... Oh, your starter card there, surprise attack, right? Yeah, I was just looking at which one did the most. Then I will do another surprise attack, which will connect on courage, connect on practicality, 
and times two on the free two, key. Two on the bottom, which I don't have enough, but that is two, four, six, I got eight. you. Well, that's I enough. You. I just need one more, yeah. And then you draw a card. And then I draw a card. And then it goes to the step where you check your uh, damage and the business. Okay. And you're good. And that's good. Okay. Because you understand, like, you yes. have to do the whole card. Because if you had yes. no deck left, that would have made you lose. Yes. So always do the full card before moving on to the next step. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Very I important, guys. We, we rush it sometimes. I sometimes get excited. But yeah, you have to follow the steps where, like, play cards and do this. And then you only do victory checks after doing, like, your full resolving of cards and stuff. So, right. yeah. Just. Okay. So let's clean that up. That'll it's go to the bottom. It's not an auto win when you get the health done. So then hit the reward is two food. One, two. So you can switch out five of your red cubes there, just for yes. video purposes. Don't yes. stack. No, I will. Space. I will. Just <laughs> easier to see. I'm not. I'm gonna spend mine in a sec. I'm not. My box isn't completely overrun. Beautiful. Kill the guardian like that. Just wreck guardians two, on our own. We're so huge. Three, four, five. Level two guardians ain't got nothing on us. Okay. Okay. So, so I'm debating giving more food. Or exploring. Well, you could do more food and I can explore, right? If you want, because... I would say you explore first, because if... I don't know what... I think oh, you've explored just... here before on Underwall once. I don't, I don't remember what it I was. I don't know. I don't have anything, right? Was this the one where you you could have done the wheelbarrow thing, helping them with the... the not the wheelbarrow, oh. the um, trebuchet. Oh, you know what? Oh. Right? Funny enough, I have a note here that says... One of the options that we took, it said if we were in... Oh no. oh, no, 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 that's my note saying, because we did in half, 6.2. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's my scribbles. No, okay. Uh, we only did, yes, we did do this. I took one eleven. I took option three and then 11, whatever those were. <laughs> you didn't make a note like come back or no. do this. I feel like that's the one, remember you met those people and we could have um, helped them with the wheel on the broken trebuchet. Oh, where you need three? Okay, well, let's go there. I'll go there first. Unless... I should do because I have more energy, but it was but something like spending not... energy to help them, right? Yeah, it was three. Or there was other options still too that, that we didn't pick because you only did it once, I think, because we were just there and chilling. Yeah. But it's not a bad place to stop and because we need to stay there because this guy is going to move north, which is good. So we need to end our day on that spot, which is no dream or nightmare, but we could start our next day, ga grab food and move if, or just move complete and get the hell out of there. But I don't think it's it's okay to chill there for a minute. Okay. Well, I'll go first. How about that? We'll yeah. see what the options are. Okay. So I'll spend energy and I'll explore. But you don't have enough energy to do the helping thing because I think it was like two or three. I think it was three energy. But I think there was other options. Okay. I don't have so to take just, the, yeah. I have don't, the option Don't do the help the people then is, or yeah. whatever it was is what I'm saying. I would do it. But then like you could start your next day doing it right away or I could do it right away. Blow some energy to do that as long as we can get past, uh, get away from this guy, right? Because he'll, mm -hmm, be, mm -hmm. he'll be right next to us. Uh, 111. 111, yes. All right, Underwall. The wall looms over a sparse forest like a thundercloud. Whenever you go, its disturbing surface keeps drawing your eyes with its texture of twisted bone. There are many openings in it. Could some lead all the way to the other side of the fabled riches of Tuathane? Is this another way in? Fortunately, wild creatures don't seem to mind this imposing presence. Glades and groves are full of prey. That's why we're hunting there. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. Far in the distance, you can also see groups of travelers struggling to drag their bulky carts through the wilderness. So explore the crevices of the wall. You did not do that, I don't think. No, I did option three. Approach the travelers is what you did. Verse, verse three, three, yeah. Or sit down and admire the wall, verse seven. I think I... Crevices well, I don't wanna, could be a way in. I don't want to do verse three because I, we already know yeah, yeah, that I don't have enough energy. Don't approach energy. them, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the crevices or sit down and... Sit down and admire the wall, verse seven. Yeah, let's sit down and admire the wall. Let's take All a right. screen break. I don't have much energy left. <laughs> sure. Well, it says if you don't have part one and part five of the console status. Oh, that doesn't sound familiar at all. Uh, we do not. Okay. Uh, go to Book of Secrets. Ooh. Uh, four, three, five. 4.35. I'm so sorry. What option did I pick up first? S Number verse. Sit down and admire the wall. Go to verse, verse seven. seven. Okay. Sorry. Uh, four, what did I say? Four. Oh, I, I apologize. 30. Yeah, I, I can't. 435. 435. It's too early in the day here for me to remember what's going on. Uh, 435. Uh, Book of Secrets. 435. 
435, you hear a woman's shouts coming from deeper in the forest, mixed with growls of some angry beast. Ignore the screams and go your way. Gain part 5 of the console status. Exploration ends. Or help her. Go to verse 10 in the Book of Secrets. Uh, if, sorry, if we had 5, then we wouldn't be able to do this again. Correct. So I will help her first because I don't want to get... 410. The, I don't want to get the status right. that blocks us out yet. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> uh, 410. You approach the source of the shouts. A uh, young woman desperately fights off a weird bear, which you just did. You just crushed a weird bear. Yep, I'm good. Uh, the creature mauls her badly, and she falls to the ground. The beast now focuses on you. Oh, no. Place a dial near the events deck and set it on five. Oh, okay. It just says a dial. It doesn't say quest or time, but... Uh, so, I, ugh, I don't know. I hate the way it's not clear yet, but uh, we're putting it on five. Okay. Okay. Events deck, sure. Uh-oh. Right here. I may have just unleashed something bad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so let's do put the one down. One down. Five's up. All right. Uh, where was I? You were on. So and then it says resolve the weird bear green encounter difficulty two. The one I so just did. So I can just start take the drawing one. and then you got to shuffle. Oh, not the one on the bottom that I know it is. Well, you're supposed to. You have to look in the deck to find it. Even though we know it's there, you still got to shuffle. Because it would mix things up. So yeah. Grab them, shuffle. Okay, so I have to fight this guy. Then decrease the dial by one with each enemy attack. If you'd set it to zero, discard it instead. If you discard the dial, escape, or lose the combat, the woman dies. Gain part five of the console status and extra ends. If you win before the dial runs out, go to verse 342 in the Book of Secrets. Okay. So you have like go. five turns. So crush. Well, I just crushed it. So if you got to throw so... red on this or whatever. like so I didn't power... even use that last time. No, you flipped it for throw, I think. Not on the last oh, one. Oh, no, okay, okay. No, I think on, like, one of those guys or something. Okay. okay. Which you just kind of throw. Okay. So tell us what you got. What's going so, on So, careful attack, careful planning, and throw. I think I should probably start... We're losing energy off careful planning. No, I don't want to do that. But I do like to draw the card. Or if I did this right there, that would start, let's just see, one, two, three, four. If you flipped it. If I flipped everything. it. Yep. Yeah. And four ends him on the, you'll lose a red cube, so you'd go down to three, and two damage would come your way. Three, but I could continue. Let me just, that was just. No, I think you start with careful attack. Throw is a finisher. Oh, yeah, start with careful attack, which would do two. Then I can connect this. Three more, that's up to five. Five. Five would do the same thing, but Hold he'd on. be at four instead of three. Oh, four, five, five six, six, seven. seven. So he's one away, but then you'd be taking four damage, uh, but you can block like one of those. No, that's too much. So let's do... I think we can... I think I can go exhausted here. <laughs> well, we got to move past. He's, he's, this guy's going to be no, here. We might I'm be gonna, taking the Guardian. I'm going to play carefully, I think. Maybe I just do this and get put him at two. Oh, he'll lose two red cubes. Well, you lose one less, and you prevent a damage. Oh, so he'll only lose one. But then if you go up here, you get the damage thing. You, you might as well just go to the three to five you were, you were doing with the throw without flipping, and you can use your blade instead if you're not going to flip it. Just do it to do the whole delayed attack thing. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, so let's do the first card first. So one for practic or one for aggression. Yep. One for the bottom key. Uh, I'm gonna cover that so it doesn't matter okay uh connect on aggression one for practicality three more cubes you two for the bottom mm -hmm. and then flip over the weapon i'm not going to do that oh it says immediately do it though do i have to no i think it's your choice you know what i probably could take three damage that's fine right now yeah, i don't know if you're forced to do that that's fine you know what let's just do that it's fine Flip that over. Okay. Put two. Might be fine. The guardian again, though. That's that's okay. Uh, and then. So you're up to seven. So, so you stop. Yes, I stop. So he does four damage, but you can prevent. I can prevent one, so I'll do three. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Then I will discard down to one. Yep. Draw a card. Ook. Hold guard. Oh, I choose enemy attack. Interesting. No red cubes. No to... red cubes. But I think yeah, I'll... No, do you have a way to draw a card, maybe? Oh, but you lose energy. Yeah, I don't know that I want to no, do that. I might not get you out of it, though. Well, I should have done it before if I was going to do that. Yeah. No, I think I'm just going to do that. Oh, uh, so he attacked, so it went down one. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. So it goes to four. Mm -hmm. and then I'll play this as my only card. Uh, you choose the enemy attack except run away. I will choose to lose two red cubes. And here's the problem. That, that card rips away again. So then you have a crappy start again. Even if you draw a red cube on the bottom or something and or on the top up here, you can't connect it because this card goes away after you do that. Well, worst case, I would do that. That's all I'm worst saying. Worst case. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I just don't... Hmm. Yeah, I probably should have done this first to get more cards. Yeah, I think I'm going to choose... But then if you're going to do it eventually, I would just do it right now so you don't... Because you could draw into something right now that can finish him before you get... Well, I can't. This... I can only play one or this. Oh, so you say play this instead? You play but that, then, you but draw then I'm a card. But then I'm taking again four damage. You don't know for sure because you're going to draw a card. And then can you not play this connected to that? No. If, oh, if I play magic. True. Okay. No. Oh, no. I'll draw a card here. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're seeing an option right now which could finish him. Okay, so let's draw a He's card. He's one away. You just need a red cube on the bottom. <laughs> and then let's lose an energy. Yeah. And then I get to draw additional cards. I could draw two more cards. Oh, I have to pay magic too. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah. So connect there. I'm going to draw two more cards. I yep. just need to see okay. some red cubes here. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't have... I do have double courage now because I just bought yes. that. Oh, Final mama. blow just got better. Okay, there Bang. we go. He's dead. He's dead. Woo! And, and the, yeah, this build doesn't do anything different, so yeah. you're good. See? One, one, draw one card can lead into a bunch of others, but it was energy it cost. Okay, so Probably then, could have had him smoked if you just did that first. You're I right, know. But That's okay. I know you want to try to avoid the energy boss. So my loot is two food yes. from that. And Loaded. then we get to keep going in the book of so whatever. We need that food repayment uh, yeah, from earlier now sure. that you're ahead in food. <laughs> for sure. No, I'm just joking. Okay, now we get to continue because I beat him. I think I think the dial should oh, have went yes. down maybe one more, but I don't think it mattered. No, I don't think you got. I think there. I only he only attacked me. Oh yeah, he only attacked me the one time because we changed. Yeah. We went back. All right, so now we're going to three forty-two in the book of secrets. This is interesting. 342. Okay, so the woman lies on the ground bleeding out. You dress her wounds as well as you can. Fortunately, they are not they are not severe. After a while, she regains consciousness and looks around with terror in her eyes until she, until he notices you. And size with relief. I think it's supposed to say she. I was going to say, I thought we were fighting with Yeah, but a, uh, a little typo there. Uh, you learned that she recently became a traveler. Her name is Consul. So that status we're all dealing with. So she's kind of maybe important to the story here. Hmm. Uh, and the reason for her voyage is rather interesting. Here, family owned an old... I think it's supposed to say her. Her family owned an old notebook filled with an odd spidery writing and striking sketches. It was handed down from generation to generation, along with a story of heroic, of a heroic ancestor who fought four dwellers in weirdness. I want to know this guy. None of her relatives could understand the language of the notebook. When it passed on to her, she decided to unlock its mystery. She's currently seeking a scholar who will help her with translation. She heard someone like this resides in Timberwall. Oh, we just lost Timberwall. But, oh, but we could light the men here where we are and continue on that way. Hold on. Uh, convince her to abandon her quest. You saw her skills. She will die sooner or later. She can't handle a weird bear. Go to verse 334 in the Book of Secrets. Or give her some advice on surviving the wilds. You lose an energy. She's not a great warrior, but she has a great dream. P game part one of the Consul status exploration ends. Okay, so sorry. The first option you I don't... You can convince her to abandon her quest. Or you can give her some advice Why on surviving. do that? Because you could gain part one of the console status, and then I bet if you go to Timberwall with the console status of one or five well, or whatever. Maybe this will help us get in. It could help you. It's probably just maybe to get an item or you meet her there, and then she's helped. And well, now, now that those those sketches and, and I things. I think. It looks like it's just a fun side thing. I think I'm not going to. I think I'll take the first one because I don't want to lose the energy and I don't want the exploration to end. Convince her to <laughs> abandon her quest. Yeah. Okay. So sorry, what one is that Three, one? 334. She looks at her wounds, her paltry equipment, and then back at you. I will go home and live like my mother and her mother. Thank you, Traveler. Each party member gains three rep. Then you gain part, part five of the consul status. Exploration ends. Okay. So part five of the consul status. So I think whatever we did, we just crushed it and killed her, and that little side side thing is all dead. Whatever it led to, we won't get in this playthrough. Thanks. No, thanks. <laughs> I'm just joking. We may never go back right. to Timberwall. Who knows? Uh, okay. Okay, just putting in some rep that I yep. 
traded it in. Okay. All right. So oh, that's still there. Um, okay. Well, I'm. So while I'm here, mm -hmm. I'm going to explore the timber wall thingy. Mm -hmm. And I want to see the holes in the wall or whatever it was. Uh, the crevices of the wall in underwall. Which is verse one. verse one. Okay. The bone-like structure of the wall has many openings, some large enough to enter. You gather your courage and walk into the otherworldly structure. After just a few minutes, vertigo creeps in. It's easy to get lost in this labyrinth of low corridors and narrow slits. Each party member gains a terror. A party alone. Choose one. Go deeper. Requires the courage. Go to verse two. Or retreat. Expedition ends. Well, I have three courage. I'm going in. Yep. Verse two. You go deeper through the wall. Feels like crawling through the skeletal remains of some long dead gargantuan creature. Roll a die and plus two for each point of practicality. Three, four, five. Uh, and it's on a one to four, go to verse four, five plus. You have part, if you have part three of the dreams and prophecy status. Sorry, which part? Part three of the dreams and prophecy status. Part three, and we do not. Okay, keep that handy. Yep. Go to verse 10, otherwise go to verse 8. So we're going to verse 10. Okay. Finally, after what seemed like a week of crawling through narrow passages, you have reached the top of the wall. I get to pee off the top of the wall. Woo! <laughs> the view is just as impressive as you imagined. Uh, with the mirror lake shining like a silver plate not far to the east. Uh, uh, I see it right here. Let's see, see, shining like a lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the walls of Camelot far beyond it. Far beyond it. Oh my god, I was joking, but it is literally piss off the edge of the wall. Oh my god. So it's like a Game of Thrones thing here. This is awesome. Uh, piss off the edge of the wall. You feel like a true adventurer now. If you don't have part four of the strange encounter status. Uh, strange encounter, we do not. Each party member gain one experience and lose a terror. After that, gain part four of the strange encounter. Or I can go back through the labyrinth expert hands. No, I'll pee off the edge of the wall. That's great. Okay, so you well. So if I don't have part four of the strange encounter status, we do not. I so gain we, an experience. Okay. And I lose a terror. And then we gain part four. Hold on. Oh, uh, after that, gain part four of the strange encounter status. Obviously, so I can't just keep cycling this over and over again. Yeah. And uh, and make another choice. Okay. So then I go back through the labyrinth expeditions. <laughs> That's cool. That is cool. All right. So uh, I will. Interesting. What could I have done different there? Um, I got the higher die roll number. But there was something. That's all it was, right? Just getting to the top of the wall. So it went from. There was one some choice, to, right? Ten. One, two. Oh. I don't have part three of the dreams and prophecies, right? No, no. I still didn't get it out of that. No. So the only reason to do this again, uh, that option would be if I came back with part three of the dreams and prophecies. So if you want to make a note maybe of that, mm -hmm. part three of dreams and prophecies. If for some reason I have it, which could be just from getting a nightmare or a dream somewhere else, who knows. Oh, helping those people. I totally forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, three energy that costs. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the gain food thing. One two okay i'm gonna gain two food so i'll discard three from here and just gain a purple okay mm -hmm. uh green encounter good luck oh oh nice traveling merchant uh two difficulty is grim bodyguards i every move draw three random items you may buy a craftable item from this pile for one wealth and any other item for two wealth you may sell any of your items for one wealth interesting mm, there's a way so, to get wealth so three items I got a feral cat companion. At the end of the day, if you have no food, gain one food. And to terror, ignore the ambush trait. That's yes. pretty good. That's not a craftable. That's fine. So I'd have to pay two well for it, right? Which I can sell stuff back to get that. That seems like a very good ability. I have the uh, bomb I've been holding that I can escape. Sorry, did that, is that what that said? You may buy a craftable item from this pile for one wealth and any other item for two. Yeah. Oh, okay. So okay. that seems like it's worth That's two good. to ignore that stupid ambush trait that screwed us a few times. Yeah. Kite shield. Which, I have a shield, but you I do not. don't. Uh, or I can throw my shield away to help upgrade to this one. Uh, if you've played no more than one card in your activation, prevent two damage. Mm. It can't be reduced to zero. So on those heavy ones where it hits for higher, I could just play a card to be defensive. Stop. This prevents two. Maybe the card prevents one or something. And so in the heavier battles, this could be helpful later. Yeah. Or mead. So none of these are craftable. So they're all expensive. Uh, discard when resting. During this rest... 
uh, ignore the effects of exhaustion, nightmare, and the Halloween Gale event. Oh, we haven't even seen that, have we? Yeah, that's it. it's one of these. It's the oh. Howling Gale. I think it's like lose a damage if at the if you're not in a settlement or something. Oh, okay. At the end I don't of the day. Remember. Start when resting. During this rest, ignore the effects of exhaustion and nightmare. Uh, hmm. Doesn't seem the greatest. The cat is pretty good. Yeah, the cat good. for sure. Those ambush is annoying. And the shield maybe, but. All right, so I am going to toss away my spoke, smoke bomb for wealth. And mm, I forgot I could have prevented a terror by flipping that card in that battle. I think I took terror in a battle. But yeah, I did. On my own card that gave me terror, I can flip to prevent oh. it. Which I would have done. I'm going to rewind and do that. I should have had that hero, helmet of a hero. I always forget to have it. I'll flip it. That would have prevented a terror in that battle. Not like I wouldn't get it back from eating anyway, but. Um, yeah, then I'll just pay one. How much wealth do we need for this Kunat thingy? Four. Four total. Okay, so I will spend the one and the bomb uh, to get the feral cat. Okay. So at the end of the day, if I have no food, I gain a food. But then I also get two terror. So I can then eat the food. So it kind of always helps me get food. But then I get terror. So but you look. lose terror at the, if you're eating the food. Yeah, so it's bouncing it out. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the smoke bomb gone away. These go away. I think they just go to the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Done. Okay. He's bottom of the deck. That's my green encounter. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so I'm good to end my day. Yeah, me as well. All right. Uh, so let's end our day. Uh, where I'm going to eat a food. Yeah, me too. And I'll get a health back. I don't need to lose any terror. And I'll One, go up. Two, three. Four. Okay, so I have five. Uh, do we want to spend any experience to modify your decks? I'm at two experience. You're at three. No, I think I'll wait a little bit longer. Okay. Um, and uh, nightmare time. Nope, no dreams or nightmares. All right. So that's going to be it for this episode. We're going to stop right there. I haven't done much this chapter, but it's been a couple hours. Uh, we got stuff to do. So uh, we're going to stop right there. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Or not like button. Hit the like button. <laughs> but also hit the notification bell. Uh, so that you get notified for sure because YouTube will not notify you every time I post a video But for sure it will uh, if you hit that notification bell when I go live or when this next video goes up So you don't miss it, but make sure you subscribe so you at least see it in your subscription feeds and don't miss it uh, But thanks a lot for everyone following along. Thanks for the comments. We appreciate it. Leave comments below I love it. like last time I've been reading your guys comments all the way in chapter some of you guys are in chapter 10 already That's who are crazy. watching along uh, Thank you for not spoiling anything in the comments I like hearing your little stories about kind of going west and weird things happening, uh, but not getting into too much detail I like that uh, but yes, thanks again to Cohen Jans for becoming our new Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, links are in the description below. There's Patreon. If you don't want to do Patreon, there's PayPal, where you can just do one-off donations, because I know some of you guys have told me you don't want to become Patreons, you don't like that whole system. Uh, but if you just want to do a one-time donation, all that money goes back into the channel to buy new games, get better equipment, uh, so you just help the channel grow, and it helps keeping me do this full-time for longer, and I don't have to go back to work. So anything you do to help the channel grow, like sharing the videos, liking the videos, commenting on the videos, watching all our videos all that stuff it's all helping us guys it doesn't just have to be uh financial donations which we appreciate the support um but that's it for this episode and we'll see you in the next one guys bye, bye.